my god, that's that's giant. Well, guys, we're back out on Ray's Town. Um, it's real early in the morning, heading out. Uh, last time I was out here was about two weeks ago. I struggled. I fished up the lake um, with all plans. I was actually practicing for a tournament, so I was just, you know, determined to break down that that area of the lake. Um, I caught a lot of fish, but they were not the right ones with the plans on coming back. And unfortunately, this lake completely flooded out. Um, it got back down to normal. It opened up earlier this week. The breathe, the water color is pretty nasty, but they ended up having a tournament here on Friday, two days ago. Now they had a lot of wind, overcast skies, a little bit of drizzle, perfect conditions for this lake, and they absolutely blasted them. Hopefully we're, we catch them up today. A um, lot different conditions today than what those guys had. A lot less wind. Um, we're gonna have bright skies, high sun. It's going to be a really hot day. I'm a little nervous about it because on this lake, when it gets really hot, um, especially with dirty water, that dirty water warms up faster than clear water. Um, these fish seem to not bite very good when it, the water temp is starting to like get really warm really quick. It seems like they start to migrate, um, heading into the areas where they're going to spawn. So I'm, I'm kind of anticipating it turning into that, you know, around midday today where it's gonna get warm. I'm really nervous that these fish are gonna stop biting and, uh, you know, they're gonna start pushing the, you know, into their areas where they're going to spawn. Right now I got 50 degree water temp. Um, so hopefully it's a good day, but it's raised town. You just have to go with the flow. Um, anytime you expect them to bite a certain way, they never do. Um, you just gotta go with the flow and see if we can figure it out. So hopefully we can do that today. Thanks for watching. See if we can catch them. First cast. Largey. Switch to a uh, brighter uh, crankbait. Caught one. Not what we're looking for, but I like catching fish. Number one. Yeah. Ain't the type that these guys are catching, but it's a two and three quarter. On a crankbait in muddy water. <laughs> oh, stout. Two and a half, two and three quarter. Nice smolly. He's so light colored in this muddy water. He's heavy though, wow. Another one. Wow, they're fat. Man, they're not very big, but man, they're freaking girthy. Little transition right here where it goes from shallow to deep, and they're just sitting right there on those rocks. Gotta love catching smallmouth in dirty water on a bright chartreuse crankbait. <laughs> That's the kind of smallmouth I catch. 
Everybody else catches five pounders, I catch that. What a tough day for me. Buzz bait. <laughs> Early April race town. <laughs> I don't care, that's fun. Buzz bait, 49 degree water. Inch. This one's a 15 incher that I get. We got my four. Oh, yeah. The buzzbait fish was even bigger, so I got my limit. No weight. That's all right. I got a little bit of confidence in something. I mean, it's been a slow day, but they're starting to bite a little bit, or I figured something out, or got to the section of the lake where there's some fish. I don't know which. Happy to get a bite. Well, it's been tough. Um, luckily for me, I talked to a buddy of mine. He was out here in that tournament two days ago. Uh, he caught him up really, really good along with everybody else. And uh, he's only caught one today. So um, it's definitely just a lot tougher day, but it's no excuse. I know if there was a tournament today, they'd be freaking wrecking them. So I'm just gonna stay at it. Hopefully maybe catch a big one and uh, salvage it today. Buzzbait fish. That's the only thing I can do. That's like at everything else. <sighs> that was fun. Hoping there's a big female back here somewhere that wants to play. frustrating day um, I'm about two weeks behind on this video I know if you've been out to raise town as of the last week or you know really ever since this video uh, you've probably been smashing them but for whatever reason this particular day was super tough I talked to a hammer in the parking lot uh, he was in the, you know in the top of that tournament and he only caught 
a few fish as well. Um, he actually said my day was better than his. I don't know if I believe that, but uh, just a super frustrating day. I had very, very high expectations on this particular day. And I think that really kind of screwed me because, you know, I just didn't take the time to really try to figure out what was going on. Uh, I just had this preconceived notion that they should just be biting everywhere. And I just kept running around. And before I knew it, the day was over.